Well, snakes can be scary when you don't know what you are dealing with, but that doesn't mean they're bad guys. Here to give us a little advice on what to do when encountering a snake is Matt Vaughn. He's the senior reptile keeper from the Dallas Zoo. Welcome, sir. It's good Thank to you. see you. Glad to be and here. And I got suckered into this um, segment because all the other hosts have run for the hills because they want to be nowhere near this snake. But this guy isn't as bad as he looks, right? Right. Snakes are, are all good. Um, and this one here is a black rat snake. It is a close cousin to the most commonly encountered snake here in the Metroplex, which is a Texas rat snake. You say so. rat snake, and I first thought he was saying rattlesnake, but he's actually <laughs> saying rat snake. And these guys, if you see one in your yard, might not be so bad because they're going to help keep a lot of the rodents away, right? That's correct. And they do like to climb trees, so they eat birds as well. They eat birds and rats. Okay, so if you have a rat problem at your house, maybe get a new pet, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I have heard, so we've all been saying this incorrectly, I feel like. I've always said, oh, this snake is poisonous, but there's really no such thing as a poisonous snake. They're venomous, correct? That's correct. Me? All right, so the thing to remember is if it bites you and you die, that's venomous. If you bite it and you die from ingestion, that's poison. You like that tip? That's a good little tip. Now, one thing I also did here is this one, this this guy right here who's coming, he's, he's getting, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. um, he actually is not venomous. That's correct. So, um, but he still can bite. Sure. Now, this tongue situation that he keeps doing, <laughs> is that him taunting me? What exactly is that? No, he's, he's smelling. Okay. Right? And so the fork in the tongue gives directionality to those chemosensory cues. Okay. All right, so they... Um, my next question, I heard someone said that if you don't want snakes around your house, then you, instead of buying a dog, you should buy a cat. Is that true? Um, possibly. Um, cats should be kept indoors regardless. Right. Um, but cats are very good predators, so they do kill all kinds of prey, including snakes. Now, snakes, uh, th this guy, he, he's, he's not really making me that nervous. I mean, I was a little nervous at first. Can, can I touch him or sure. would he bite me? Where's the best place if we do see a snake? Where, if someone's curious, should they touch a snake? Well, I wouldn't recommend trying to touch a snake in the wild. Okay. Um, the thing to remember is snakes don't view humans as a prey, prey source, right? So anytime you encounter a snake in the wild, it's going to be on the defensive because they're afraid of you, including venomous snakes. Okay. So... So, so if I see him, what, what, if I wanted to pet him right now, where should I pet him? It's right here. Right here. He, okay. I don't like it when you move your head over. He, he scooted his head over. Now, something else that I heard, hello, hi, um, is that the Dallas Zoo has more venomous snakes in the country than anywhere else. That's correct. Wow. Well, how many snakes do y'all have on property? Oh, uh, just under 400. Okay, okay, you're getting a little too close for comfort over here. Okay, and now I hear you have another snake in there, That's too. That's true. Yeah, do we have time to show our other friend? Why don't you hold that one? Oh, no, I'm good. I don't need to hold him. <laughs> Amy, Amy, oh, Amy's over here in the peanut gallery going, why don't you hold that guy? Why don't you get in the segment, Amy? <laughs> okay, so you brought another friend. What makes these two guys different? Um, that is, is that lid on tight? Are no. we good? Okay. <laughs> That's a rat snake. This is a king snake. Okay. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. So these guys actually prey on other reptiles in the wild. He's actually a really pretty guy. Yeah. So these, um, these guys occur south and west of here. South and west of mm -hmm. here. And what makes this one different than that one? It's just a different, uh, different genus, OK? Different species. Really, really beautiful. OK. Now, I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking we just need to just go to break because I'm starting to get a little nervous. Okay, so thank you for being here. I love all these myths about snakes because I feel like so many people are scared about snakes when really they're, they're our friends and the, we're lucky to have them here in the South, maybe. Right, they're just misunderstood. Misunderstood. You fear what you don't Aww, understand. Aw, just misunderstood. Poor guys, don't you mm -hmm. feel sorry for them now? Okay, well, there are so many things to do with the kiddos this summer. If you find your snake in your backyard, you know, you don't, don't touch it. So uh, we're glad that y'all been able to watch this segment. You can watch more of it on thebroadcasttv.com to learn some helpful hints when it comes to dealing with snakes. And don't forget, head out to the Dallas Zoo this summer. A great time to spend with your family and see 400 snakes there, the largest collection of venomous snakes in the country. Okay, and coming up next, now may be the perfect time to start investing in your future through the stock market. But how do you get started? We are breaking that down for you next. I bet there's lots of snakes in the stock market. <laughs> snakes of all trees.